I did not write that. That is not my writing. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mike. Mike, you the man. Mike from uh, from our works at Becky Bax. Becky Bax Stewart, sir. Just a tremendous individual. Michael, thank you for your donation. I want to thank that so much. And Mike and Nancy and... Okay, let's talk about the cat drag and this uh, Mike Trail. Mike, should we talk to you now or we'll wait a little bit? Or we got some. Yeah, we can do that. Come on over here, my friend. You, of course, are with the uh, Turning Back Time Car Show, and I need to tell you that. No, no, I've, I've been doing that since, uh, well, this was the 20th show, and I've been to all of them except the ones when I had to go drag racing that same weekend. But, okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're here. Have you hung up your drag racing laws at this point? I, I did that in 2009. I won the last race I entered, and so I figured, well, what the heck, I'll retire on top. Did you ever race down the snake bird on or Shirley? When was Shirley Moldani? Shirley Cha-Cha Moldani. Shirley Cha-Cha Moldani. And she hated that. <laughs> <laughs> she absolutely hated that, but it made her millions. That's it. That's it. That's it. So tell us about the Turning Back Time Car Show. We know about the show, but tell us about the group itself and the wonderful people that are in it. Well, obviously, the Fizzler Memorial Turning Back Time Car Show has uh, been going on now for 20 years. It was the brainchild of Chuck Criswell back in 2000. And actually, in 1999, he started working on it in 1999, and in 2000, had the first show with about 346 cars in the driving rain. And, um, yes, <laughs> I do, too. Um, I was with Autometer. The show went on, though. The show went on, yeah. It's a rain or shine show, so we, we have it, whether or not we are under, are under the umbrellas or not. But uh, it started out with, a, I think it was a top 10 or top 20 cars now we give trophies to the top 100 and then we have 15 other best of trophies that go along with it uh this year we had a special best of trophy where we invited all the 19 previous best of year show winners oh, cool. which actually there were 18 because there was one has won twice but we had 12 of them show up and um the one that uh, had won in 2018 won the best of the best award this year so is that right very deserved too you know, there were several cards there that were very deserved i mean they all had one best to show it what do you look for you know it's funny i talked to the 4-h kids and asked them how they evaluate the, the cows and the pigs and what they look for and the high and the haunches and what are you looking for in the car i look for the participants to look for the cars that they like the best because we don't judge the show it's it's a participant vote and then we have spectator votes as well okay and the best of the best was a spectator vote it was not a participant vote although i'm sure some of the participants got in on it as well but sure. it was an overall uh so we look for the cars that have the best crowd appeal and okay so that's the wow factor you bet the, the car that comes uh, that comes in and you know what it's not always necessarily the wow factor because the shiny paint or a uh, low uh, stance or something like that because one year we had an international um pickup truck that was all jacked up with great big tires and all that stuff uh that one best to show thank you well the, the kids are voting i would put it over the top i'm sure i'm sure that the kids you know because we don't care i mean we give out um uh, five thousand uh Voting ballots are, are up to five thousand voting voting ballots. I okay. mean, there's usually about a thousand or fifteen hundred of them, but uh, I'm sure that they'll they can fall into the hands of some of the kids too. But we also have a kids' choice. I know. Okay. And this year we had two tow trucks there that were painted up like Mater, and one of the Maters was the one that won. The bigger one of the two okay. is the one that won. Uh -huh. Now it seems to me you also have motorcycles. I wonder if you had motorcycles in the mix. The motorcycles came in, I think, about two or three years after. They were kind of intermingled with the cars. But Mike Hinkey from uh, Hink's Bar and Grill at the time um, came around and said, why don't we separate the motorcycles? I'll run the show, and, and um, uh, it'll kind of be a show within a show. And it's run that way ever since. And now uh, Bart Blair Harley-Davidson has taken it over, um, and we moved it into the parking lot that is uh, just to the east of the Sycamore Theater. Okay. And it's kind of a nice little home. We can put a hundred and some up motorcycles in there. That's a perfect space for that. It is. It is. And it, it kind of gives them a nice little home. It's, it's off the street. And, um, and it also gives us some more opportunity to park cars on California Street, too. So. so I have an old classic ride, and I'm listening to you talk right now. I want to join the club. How do I go about doing that? Do I contact you or the, or the website? Or, or? Well, we have a Facebook page, and we have a website. So, obviously, you can messenger us at the Facebook page or just put a post up there and say, okay. you know, we and we want to join. I actually had three different okay. people. I must ask about this. A 1996 Acura, beautiful uh, car there. Some detail work was done by the owner. You can see in the lower left-hand corner there. Uh, what do you think of that bad boy? Would go for it. I see that. That looks like custom paint. And back in my day, that was one of the cars that we would say, "I'll give you fifty bucks for it in yeah. a case of beer." A case of beer. Maybe just a case of beer. I'll take at this point. But like, but, but, but my car.
how it becomes over, like that's a 96. Does it instantly become a classic? Or what's the word I want? An antique? Or what's the word? Once it, the definition of an antique is one that's 25 years old. Or less. Okay. Yeah. So, um, like my Barracuda is uh, 45 years old, so it's, it's obviously an antique. Okay. Um, the, um, uh, my Barracuda is for sale, too, by the way. <laughs> uh, the, um, uh, a true classic will be something that would have classic interest. Um, you aren't going to see. I mean, there's like a 65 volts of wheel Starfire four door sedan. If one of those is still around, it's definitely a classic car. It's just not going to have the market value that the same two door hard okay. Sure. Okay. would. So it all has to do with. I mean, it, a car is worth what the person that buys it for will give for it. And that goes for anything from a Hemi Cuda to a 69 Camaro to a 70 Chevelle, and, you know, you, you roll in the parking lot and say, all right, all right, all right, with the 70 Chevelle. Sure. You might get some money for that one if it was in the movie and it was the one that he said, all right, all right, all right, in. So it's uh, you know, a lot of excitement about where George thinks he buys the John Boyd car, and it turns out it was John Boyd, the dentist, not John Boyd, the actor. <laughs> and he gave a premium price for it, too. <laughs> Right We're coming up to the top of the hour. What do you want to do here? Should we stick around a little bit? We got the other folks coming from the from the car. You know what? I had, I had told everybody to be here by ten. It's five after ten now. So why don't I just throw you over your what's your where are you at? We're, oh, well, we're about 8,000 pounds short right now. Oh, the goal. Yeah. Yeah. But if you can help us in that regard, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Check for 8,000. Well, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, listen to the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't think you know, you know, We're so grateful and blessed that you guys have us on your, your list of how did you include us? I'm so glad that you have. Well, you know, this is something um, when, when, I don't know when you started doing this, but it was... 19 years ago. Okay. So, yeah, it was almost the same age as the... And we're, we go through every year after the show, we go through uh, what industry calls a failure mode and effect analysis. And we look at what was good with the show and what was what we needed. Hey, what was that thing again? Is it? Failure mode effect analysis. Oh, it's well. an F FMEA, and engineers will know what that is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a meeting where you just throw out every idea, pro and con, you know, the group just sits there and they throw ideas out. And you write them on a board, and you then you analyze and look at them and say, all right, what do we need to improve for next year, blah, 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 so on and so on. Well, then after we do that, we go in and we say, who do we need to support after this year? Now, there's some that we, it, it's tradition we support, the Fizzler Memorial Scholarship. We do that. This year we started, there is a uh, Chuck Criswell Scholarship. Okay. We donated to that. Uh, we um, we support the veterans. Um, so uh, it's probably about, I think, four or five years ago, we decided to start supporting the Veterans Transportation Group. I saw their Fort Edge running around with veterans on the side of right, it. And that's taking them to their appointments, right? You bet. Yeah. So those are those are some of the things that, that we want to take care of. So we look at everything that we're doing, and some of them um, either, they either go away or they were temporary or whatever. Okay. Um, but... It, it can change from year to year. Uh, Jim Morrell, who, who is one of our veteran um, participants, uh, mentioned to something to me that he's involved in where they build bookcases and they put a few books in those bookcases and give them to some of the uh, underprivileged kids so that they can start a reading program and help them work their way up. Okay. Those are the things that we like. We like things that are going to be self-help. We like things that are going to provide the basics, the food, clothing, and shelter. And we obviously have to support the veterans because we're a very patriotic, yet non-political. I've said that several times on air. We're a very patriotic but non-political group. And our sole purpose, I shouldn't say sole purpose because, you know, one of the purposes is we like to show off our stuff. So, but... The, the purpose behind showing off our stuff is to help the community sure. and and give something back or provide something to make the to better the community. Do you have an old US Jeep, the, the vehicle that won the war for us in World War II? I don't have one, but um, Tim Coon, one of our members, has the great big jacked up yellow one, oh, the CJ5. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thank all of our members, and thank you again. And we're so well, honored that we were up on that board, and we've survived the process there. And uh, you help us out every year, and we can't thank you enough for turning back time to our show. Well, one of the, one of the groups we uh, support on a regular basis is Salvation Army because of what they do. And I know this is tied in with that, so 
as long as the show does well, and we did records this year, we were able to give out give away twenty two thousand dollars. So wow, that's awesome! It is, it is a record. You know, normally we're in the fourteen to fifteen area, but the sponsors really stepped up this year, and uh, our expenses were held to a minimum. So okay, you know, we have to obviously support uh, subtract the expenses, and we have to have sixteen thousand dollars in the bank before we can open the gate. Okay, all right. So give us a website again now, so we want to learn more about that. It is turningbacktimecarshow.com, or we are on Facebook at Turning Back Time Car Club. All right, well, Tim, we cannot thank you enough for getting you guys to come through for us every year. And we just, uh, we're so grateful. We didn't want to depend on it, but we were hoping, like, it was so close to our goal now that you guys would come through and you came through again. So thank you so much, Mike. Well, you know that's what we like to do. We come out here on Saturday for that very purpose. <laughs> <laughs> we're missing a giant check, though, but can we get a shot of you? Maybe uh, Bill Finucchi can take a shot of us here. Or, well, uh, I mean, if you look at my truck, there's a video camera in there. So oh, I'll come on. The windshield, so I'll do like I did last year and send you a copy of the video. I feel violated now. I've been out of the whole time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, Mike, we can't thank you enough, my friend. Thank you for stopping by and thanks for what you guys do. My pleasure. My pleasure. Three back time car show on Christmas miracle that we're hoping for that came through again as we always do. We have a new total for you. Uh, how are you throwing your money around it? We'll, uh, we'll have a new total for you here in just a moment. We'll send it back to you. But, again, we're here in the Hy-Vee Shopping Center. We still need you to help help us, please, as we try to take care of all the friends and neighbors here in DeKalb County. Like our friends at the Turning Back Time Card Show helped out. You do the same, please. Uh, Hy-Vee Shopping Center, come on by with a donation. We're here till noon. You're listening to it live on your news and information station. This is the crowd. FM 98.9 AM 1360 WLBK. News, weather, sports, and agriculture. It's all on the new FM 98.9 AM 1360 WLBK. W255BN. Decal.